<laughs> we're good, huh? Yeah. Great. Uh, so can you tell me your name and some of your research and also your position at the University of Cape Town? Okay. I'm Tolu Oni. I am an Associate Professor at, in the School of Public Health at the University of Cape Town. And my research is on urban health. I lead the research initiative for cities health and equity. And what does that mean exactly? When you talk about urban health, what does that mm -hmm. mean? Mm -hmm. So that's essentially going beyond acknowledging the fact that most of the drivers of health lie inside the health sector to actually intervening in those spaces. So going beyond saying, sitting within the health sector and saying, we'll do what we can, but we know that the environment, uh, where you live, where you work, where you play, impacting your health. Our research is essentially saying we have to conduct our research with those atypical partners to say, uh, to create health. And on the topic of precision health, you were talking about uh, improving health outcomes as the, as the central driver. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me a little mm -hmm. bit more about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I often, Go around correcting precision medicine or precision health care to precision health. Because I think in our approaches, in our, as we advance and develop new tools and new techniques to improve well being, to keep focus on the fact that what we're trying to do is improve health of, of the population, not trying to develop, not just trying to improve access not, uh, to care, not just trying to develop a particular technique. We have to keep focus on the fact that these whatever tools, techniques, systems, processes we develop have to ultimately improve population health. Mm -hmm. Last question is about prevention. Not mm -hmm. enough is said, particularly in the precision health context. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us uh, how Africa needs to move into the prevention, uh, more investment in prevention? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, a, this is a question we get often, particularly in the context of Africa, people say, well, you're talking precision health, but people don't have access to primary health care, people don't have access to, to proper sanitation. And I say these are not mutual, um, they're not mutually exclusive. Because if we know that the city, which is the unit I work in, is a complex system where all these factors interact, knowing that we have a high burden of disease already, particularly in the context of limited resources, we cannot we will not be be able to afford to treat ourselves out of that out of that uh, situation, mm -hmm. be it through precision medicine, technology, tools, diagnostics, etc. We have, that work has to continue, but we have to put as much focus into innovation in prevention. So not just saying yes, we'll put innovation into all these curative models and then do some screening, but say how can we actually innovate and change. We can't be using the same prevention tools as we've used for over a, over, a, over a century. We have to really focus our funding, our research activity in innovating in this, in this space. And that's exactly what we're trying to do to say, we understand that the health sector cannot uh, effectively prevent uh, disease at a population uh, level on its own. We need to work with human settlements, we need to work with transport, we need to work with the food uh, systems to look at how together we can create an efficient uh, city that is, that is geared towards uh, creating health. All right.